The last video in this series shows you how to create a hover effect using an isolated heart shape in Adobe XD. As you will see in this video, I will show you how you can create a hover effect with a button. When creating a form or a call to action, a button may be needed. You can make the button fancy by making a slideable button, but I'll keep it simple here. As a reminder, the default state is what you want the first interaction to look like. In the design mode, let's create a few things. A rectangle will be created and the corners will be rounded with the live corners. Use the text tool to create a line of text. This text will be gray as well as the box border. Double click the folder's name on the left hand side to change it to a button. It is necessary to make a component. The keyboard shortcut is Command K on a Mac or Control K on a PC. Since this is now a component, folder icon is now a diamond. On the right hand side of the property inspector is the component. There will be a blue highlight on default state. If it isn't, please select it again. The default state has gray text and an outline of the box. Click the plus sign to add a state. To hover, select hover state. Our goal is to make the box turn a different color upon hovering over the button. When you hover over the button, its appearance changes. In this example, change the gray text to a solid orange fill. Click once on the swatch to choose a color. In this example, change the gray outline to a solid gray fill. You can either click on the swatch to pick a color from the picker or on the eyedropper to sample a color. Changing orange to white will make it easier to read, as two color text is difficult to read here. By pressing the play button in the top right hand corner, you can see your prototype in action. XD makes it relatively easy to create hover interactions. It is now possible to add a connection to your prototype if you wish. Hover is a trigger for this interaction, as you can see. Custom triggers such as tap, drag, force can be added to this trigger. Using this method can define state transition based on your requirements. In the destination section, it is says hover state. This means the component will hover when it encounters the trigger. Type action can be modified, currently set to auto animate, to meet your needs. These methods include overlay, previous artwork, and transition. Easing, duration, and scroll position can be adjusted in the same manner. As you hover over the icon, its color changes. By clicking on the plus sign again on the prototype, you can move the connection to the arbor needed when you click the button. This needs to be tested again. When you press the play button in the top right hand corner of your prototype, you can see it in action. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get the next hot tip. I will see you next time.